This is a nade set that you'll see a lot at higher levels on overpass. And what it's meant to do is replace in CSGO what used to be the typical A control with two Molotovs here, where you would Molotov the stairs and then Molotov playground. Because this Molotov is so much harder to hit now, what people have started doing is throwing a smoke instead. And the reason this is so good is because it can be thrown by one person. Here's the nade set in real time to show you what it would look like if you were throwing this. So as you can see, you're smoking off the stairs here and then you're molotoving playground. And what this is gonna do is deny any T players from coming up into playground or to fountain for free. And you're also throwing this flash for yourself that's gonna blind anybody that's coming through this smoke. Typically the response that you're gonna see if a team has a plan for this is they're either going to smoke out the Molotov in playground, which you'll hear as a sound cue and you'll know someone's there, or they're going to nade this smoke and try to come through it with a flashbang over the top. So I would recommend for the player that's pushing here after throwing the flashbang, they should come to fountain and then get into a position like this. This is going to block a lot of the flashbangs that will be coming over just because the fountain is in the way. And it also gives you a really good angle to fight any players that might come up if they break the smoke because you're at a really strange headshot angle that's difficult to hit and it's going to be hard for you to be traded. And then for the second player that's coming up A, I would recommend that that player comes up into playground here, or sorry, into party and watches playground from party. There's a lot of different angles that you can take on top of this picnic table, and that's why I would recommend playing around this, because you can easily spot this area for anybody pushing playground, and if you're strafing around like this, it's going to be really difficult to hit the instant headshot on you. So this way, you can easily cover your teammate that's at Fountain, and if they break the smoke and try to come through, you're also immediately available to help support anybody who might be pushing up Fountain. To take this strategy a step further, if you're that player that threw the smoke, Molotov, and flashbang, and you come Fountain and you see that nobody's here, you can also throw a secondary flashbang for yourself over playground and you actually have time to come up this uh this slide here and hold this angle for any t's that might come through and that's another angle where you'll frequently catch people off guard because when they come in they're going to be watching down here they're not actually going to be looking up there to take the fight on you Thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this video useful and I will see you next time.